programs, low-income housing credits, money for energy programs, disaster relief. It sure sounds a lot like Stimulus One to my next guest, Florida GOP Senate candidate Marco Rubio. He recently launched a website called StimulusBond.com in the hopes of raising $787,000 for his campaign. He's already raised more than 560 grand since the start of the month. Thank you for joining us, sir. Let's get right to it. 787,000. I take it it's a thousand yeah. dollars for every billion dollars of stimulus one. Is that right? That's right. Although we know stimulus one has gone over 800 billion in its actual costs, but symbolically, today's the one-year anniversary that Charlie, of Charlie Crist and Barack Obama meeting right here in Fort Myers and holding a pep rally for this failed plan. Well, they, they, we know about the kiss. You know, we've seen the kiss. We've seen the the secret handshake and the hug. Tell us about what what the hug is to you. Well, you know, look, I mean, we have, we have fun with that, but the truth is that what really bothers us is an embrace of failed policy. You know, this idea that government is going to spend money it doesn't have to stimulate the economy has failed everywhere in the world that's been tried, so no wonder it's failed here in America. And why would they want to continue to do that is beyond me. But uh, today's a reminder that, uh, that that was a failed policy and that we need to send people to Washington, D.C. that are not going to repeat those mistakes. In fact, we need to send people to Washington, D.C. that are going to stand up to this kind of agenda and in its place offer a clear alternative. Okay, and, and a lot of said, a lot of people have said, well, uh, you know, this is the Tea Party at work here. Uh, you're, you're, you're for, you, you claim to be further conservative, more conservative than Charlie Crist when you're going for that uh, that Republican, the GOP um, uh, 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 versus uh, the, the the Democrats. So you're saying you're you're further conservative, you're further right. Go ahead. You know what? I, I say that I'm the only candidate in this race that's going to go to Washington, D.C., stand up to this agenda that Barack Obama and the leaders of Congress are trying to force down the throats of the American people. I'm going to offer a clear alternative. Uh, the clear alternatives, by the way, that aren't very complicated, and they've worked everywhere in the world they've been tried. Why can't they just, just to start out with, let's make the Bush tax cuts permanent. Let's lower the corporate tax rate from 35 to 25 percent. Let's eliminate the death tax forever. Uh, let's lower the capital gains tax and the tax on dividends. If we just did some simple things like that, that alone would stimulate the economy much more than all of the spending has done. Now, uh, Mr. Chris has said that uh, you probably would have taken um, stimulus money when, when, the, uh, when Obama came down a year ago and offered it, would you have? That's a false choice. The issue here is that a year ago at this time, okay, there was a debate going on in America about what to do to stimulate the economy. There were Republicans in Washington, D.C. that were saying, let's cut these taxes in a meaningful way. That's going to encourage job creators to create jobs. And along comes Charlie Crist, holds this pep rally with Barack Obama, cuts the legs out from underneath of all of these Republicans working on this. If Charlie Crist had been in the U.S. Senate a year ago today, he would have been one of only three Republicans and Arlen Specter to have voted for this bill. One of only three Republicans in the whole country that would have voted for this bill had he been in the United States Senate. All right, what would your recommendation be? Let's say you're, you're the, um, the, the Republican t senator from Florida. What would your recommendation be to, to cut some of the spending? Where would you start? Well, first of all, the, the growth in spending over the last year, quite frankly, over the last few years, makes it a lot easier than it used to be to go into the discretionary spending of this country and look at ways to cut. But I'm saying just freeze discretionary spending, uh, non-defense spending and things of this nature. Freeze that right now and then undertake a, a, a way of how you can hold that back going forward while creating explosive growth in your economy through the kind of tax cuts that we're proposing. Uh, by the way, this country also needs to, one of the, you're not really going to have serious cuts in the growth of the federal government in this country until we're serious about entitlement reform. And that means Social Security and Medicare. We have to do that very carefully because there are seniors and those about to retire who are dependent on our counting on these programs. Well, of my generation, they need to be told the truth. And that is that there isn't going to be Social Security or Medicare for us if we don't begin to reform those systems right now. All right, I referenced it earlier. Uh, you're asking for $7.80 or 78 bucks and 70 cents or $787. Um, why? Well, it's just symbolic of the $787 billion of borrowed money that my children are going to have to pay back thanks to the Obama Christ stimulus package that uh, passed a year ago, but which had a massive pep rally right here in Fort Myers a year ago. All right, Marco Rubio, we're going to have to leave it there. Thank you very much, sir. The uh, Republican uh, in Florida looking for that Senate seat. Thank you. All right, Thank the you. President.